Templates in OnePager are like templates in any other Office application. Different templates have different settings to allow you to more easily and quickly create the documents you need to produce. The difference in OnePager is that you must use a template when you are creating a new document. The option for blank does not exist like it does in Word, PowerPoint, etc. The reason for this is that OnePager makes data-driven documents, so you're handing it data from Project or Excel every time. Without a template, OnePager wouldn't know what to do with your data. Template files in OnePager have a .tat extension on them versus the OnePager document, which has a .tam extension. We give you a handful of templates with your download to get you started as a new user. Once you've installed OnePager for the first time and you launch the application, then select to make a new OnePager document, you are confronted here with the option to change the template. If you click Change and Browse Files, you will open the default location where the template or TAT files that we installed reside on your computer. The base templates are mildly descriptive, and I have two pieces of advice for you here as you consider which one will work best for you. If you are creating a one pager using data from multiple source files, use a template that says multi project in the name. There is a particular setting in these templates that will allow one pager to uniquely recognize data as coming from separate files. The next piece of advice is if you're using a single source file, then any template will do. Don't spend a whole lot of time trying to figure out what each template will give you visually. Again, our templates are just meant to get you started. And from there, you should quickly create your own templates that allow you to get what you want and need. When you click Create New Project View, OnePager will take the data from your source file, combine it with the settings in the template, and render you the initial resulting visual. The shapes in your Gantt chart are from the selected tasks and milestones. But how everything is organized and formatted is based on the settings in your template. One pager doesn't look at your data and say, OK, I think I know what my user wants. I'm just going to give them that. The result is entirely driven by the data and the template settings. To see the settings that the template you selected gave you, you can open the Project View Properties by pushing this button on the Home tab in the ribbon here. Technically speaking, this is the form that the template pre-populates, which drives the resulting visual. If we were to open the template on its own, which you can do by clicking the Templates button from within Project or Excel, you can see it looks a lot like the settings in the Project View Properties, and that is on purpose. Remember, the template is what pre-populates the Project View Properties. Make changes to the settings in each of these tabs to get your visual and all of its properties to appear the way you want it to. When you get to a point where you're happy with your settings, click the Copy to Template button right next to the Project View Properties button on the Home tab, and OnePager will prompt you to save your settings into a new template. Pushing the Copy to Template button is like executing a File Save as Template in any other Office application. After you've saved this new template, it will be available to you to use at a later date to create a new OnePager document that will have the look and feel and organization of the document you're looking at now in seconds. This is the main gist of our OnePager application. You take a project or Excel file you already have, you use one of our templates to get you an initial result in OnePager, you customize the settings and the project view properties, then you save those customized settings back into a new template that you can use moving forward. You will soon build up a library of templates that will allow you to push a button in any situation and get the visual you're looking for. Templates are even more important in a team setting where you have more than one OnePager user and for two reasons. The first is to help an entire team get up to speed very quickly. As soon as what I like to call the Van Gogh user arrives, have them save their template into a shared folder and allow everyone access to those templates. Next thing you know, everyone is just as good as the Van Gogh user. Templates can also allow you and your team to very quickly and easily achieve a certain level of standardization using conditional formatting. Back in the Taskbars and Milestones tab of the Project View Properties, there is a duplicative setting at the bottom that says Manage Rules in the Conditional Formatting section. With drop-downs, it's very easy to quickly build rules in here to tell OnePager how you want your tasks and milestones to appear. For example, I could tell OnePager, 
If you see a value of phase one complete in my task name column, I want you to make this shape a blue star. If I code this rule in and then save it back to a template that I then share with my team, whenever one pager sees phase one complete, it's going to make that shape a blue star. Nobody has to think about it. Over time, my audience will develop a fluency based on this conditional formatting that allows them to go straight to the data and information rather than having to learn how to read the chart using the legend. Please visit our other videos on our website at onepager.com forward slash support, or you can send an email to support at onepager.com and we'll be happy to assist you.